They told me that it could easily rupture and within the next month and I had a one in four chance of never making it back for the next appointment. And that's how it all started. Hey, Dr. Pride, how are you? Patients like Glenn Pride, who were diagnosed with an abdominal aortic aneurysm, need immediate care. I took a look at your CT scan. I took a look at uh, your ultrasound report, and uh, everything looks real well. A physician himself, Dr. Pride understood the urgency of his situation and was glad to have vascular surgeon Dr. Frank Arco perform the repair. There are really uh, two ways to uh, fix an abdominal aortic aneurysm uh, currently. Uh, there's a standard open repair. Uh, which is uh, uh, the historical way of fixing them, uh, actually has very good results. Uh, and then over about the last 10 years, there's been a, a, a new therapy for it, uh, which would be endovascular aneurysm repair, uh, which would be somewhat less invasive uh, for the patient. In open repair, a section of the aorta is replaced with a synthetic tube through an abdominal incision. Endovascular stent grafting involves smaller incisions in the groin area. The surgeon uses x-ray pictures to guide a catheter to the aneurysm to place a stent. Both procedures strengthen the aorta. Let me know if I'm pushing down too hard, but I'm just going to be looking down your, your belly here. Dr. Pride's aneurysm was large enough to require immediate surgery. When aneurysms are smaller than about two inches, doctors will schedule follow-up tests to monitor growth of the aneurysm extremely important so that we can see if there's been any growth because rapid growth of the aneurysm can be associated with the increased risk of rupture. If detected early, abdominal aortic aneurysms can be successfully treated 95 percent of the time. Dr. Pride is a good example of that. I did feel that I dodged a bullet. I'm feeling great now. Ask your doctor about your risks for vascular disease. Visit vascularweb.org to find a vascular specialist and learn more about vascular wellness.